now we need to get those guys to react to our hits, right? So when we get any damage, uh, we want to see uh, how we got damaged and react to it. So let's do that. Let's uh, make it completely custom. So first of all, we need to know that we got damage in a specific location. So what we need is damage and not any damage, but point damage. So when we receive point damage, we got this entire hit info. We want to break this hit info. And uh, we want to see if our component is our mesh component. It should be because our weapon component doesn't have uh, any collision. So even hit damage, uh, if we hit our mesh component, then we want to know uh, what bone did we hit so switch on the name and uh, the name of the bone will be identical with our physics uh, bodies so for our mesh we need to find our mesh we have to go to our mesh and in our mesh we need to find asset details and we need to find a physics asset and in our physics asset uh, the following bodies are in the physics asset. We have no corresponding bonds in scaffold mesh. Uh, cancel to ignore. Cancel to ignore. Yes, please. Okay. So this is our physics asset. Wow, that's quite terrible. But I've seen worse. Uh, so we got a big head, pelvis and three spines, that's fine, upper arm, upper arm, tight calf, and foot tight, calf foot, I don't know why the twist has a body as well, doesn't matter, uh, <coughs> okay, yeah, we can work with this, so, uh, the bones that we want to be able to hit would be uh, head and then spine 0 1 spine 0 2 spine 0 3 pelvis and then we have hands so tight L uh, no, no, no. upper arm L and R so we have mm, upper arm L and upper arm R and then we have the ties so tight L and right And then we have the calf and foot. So calf L, calf R, foot L, and foot R. And just to be sure, everything is small letters. So just to not have any confusion anywhere this will be all small letters okay so those are the bones we can hit physically and we can register hits on those bones so now we need some reactions so we have to go to our animation pack and we have to go into animation group motion and i'm pretty sure there are hits oh my god my cat just uh, turned some water on my keyboard thank you cat Thank you very much. This is exactly what I needed. Uh, okay, let's go back into our work. So we now know what's the names of the bones that we can hit. We name those bones. Now we need some animations. So what we need is inside root motion. We must have some hit. Okay, and we do. And let's see. Left, right, left, right. Okay, let's just open all of them except the one on the ground and we'll play this montage 
as uh, animation master and uh, play network montage and this will be it and this one will be if we get hit in the stomach so into pelvis spine one and let's say spine two and let's say spine three so this will be our reaction to that and let's make another one mm, so we used this one okay um, okay this will be head so hit you uh, hit you where is it i'm blind this one create honey montage full body thank you and let's move it here move it here move okay and this one goes into our character here and this will be head and that's it so this is the second one and now we need uh, I think just two for left and right side and that's it so this one and this one two. Okay, so hit R, hit L2, hit L2, mm, any montage, and hit R, this one. Okay, take those two, we move them here, and we open them, and we need them to be full body. Okay, we save them and now this is left so we're going here copying that this is left so this will go to left 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 and the last one the right one this one it will go here it will go here 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 and here and default will go to head so if we hit in something that we don't understand it will play this uh, head okay target is obviously this so now we have just this reaction table so depending on the bond that we get hit we're going to play a different animation let's compile this and let's see if it works Oh, let's test it on just one and play standalone. Okay, so this guy got hit in the stomach. Left and right hits. And he actually got hit in the head with the first one. And you can see that he is doing different uh, animations depending on his hit state, but he's always moving backward, right? Mm, attack, attack, attack. And I am actually moving towards him a bit too fast, I would say. Mm, okay, so he got hit from just one side and here we have okay usually just those animations and this okay and we can actually even make this character shout out that he got hit somewhere so print string and this will be torso and head and left and right Okay, torso, 
head, torso, 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 torso. Hmm. I want him to get hit in the torso, torso, head, torso. Uh, Uh, it's very hard to hit him in in the hands, honestly. A bit too hard. I think this is just how his uh, body is set up. That it's just uh, like his physics body is. It's not the best, honestly, because those uh, physical bodies are just enormously big. And I know th that they are like this because of the cape and all the physics objects that need to interact with them. But uh, it's very hard to hit those arms or legs when he's st standing with those uh, hands a bit toward the middle. Um, so you know what? Just for now we can go here and we can just switch our mesh back to AGR Mannequin. And he has the same setup actually. So now we can hit torso and right torso, right torso, 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 right. And I want to hit him left. This is right. Come on. Left. Okay. So he does react to all those hits and he can have different reactions on feet different reaction on hands and you can see that he can do a lot of fancy moves based on how he's getting hit oh and he's a bit too close to me so let's go into our character let's make our capsule a bit bigger so let's say 44 and by the way, 90. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Okay, play. Okay, now we have some better distance between each other. We can't go as close, so he's always getting hit. Okay, 